Hey everyone, it's Wednesday, February the 2nd, I believe. Um, <laughs> it's a late manna, so I apologize on that. But um, I just wanted to go back and reiterate some things that we've already talked about twice this week. And yesterday it was about relationships. If you haven't watched that, uh, look at that again. Or look at that and, and just um, and, and start begin, begin now to read the book of Proverbs. And embrace the different truths and the concepts that are introduced in Proverbs. And... Um, and you will discover, as I have, there's at least at least 17 unique relationships that are talked about to varying degrees within the book of Proverbs. So with that being said, um, one of my favorite books to read with my wife and of the Bible in particular is the book of Ruth, right? And it is chock full. I was, I was listening to it, the whole thing this morning. I listened to... Um, the video by Tim Mackey and the Bible Project that basically gave an overview of the book. And I actually referred to the book the other night in my teaching on Proverbs. But I love the relationship that Boaz had <clears throat> with his workers. And, and their interaction is, though very brief, briefly discussed because the book is not about their interaction but it just shows how a good and godly man can own a business and run it well and appreciate his employees and be appreciated by his employees so here it is um, there's a relative of Naomi Naomi's husband a man of great wealth and of the family of Limelech his name was Boaz uh, so Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi please let me go to the field and glean heads of grain after him in whose sight I may find favor. So he's a family member, distant relative, related. Ruth is related through Naomi. And so Naomi says, yeah, go, my daughter. So she went and she came and she got to see what this man was like with his employees. It says, now behold, Boaz came from Bethlehem and said to the reapers, the Lord be with you. And they answered him, the Lord bless you. And then it goes on and gives, gives an interchange between Boaz and his employees about Ruth and what's going on. And I'm sure he talked about a lot of business with his employees, but uh, the part that we get to listen in like flies on the wall is when he asks about Ruth, who is she, why is she in our field? And then he shows her grace and kindness and generosity. Unmeasured, really. It's it's powerful, powerful story. Um, so think about your role today. What kind of employer are you? Do you treat your employees well? I talked with a man in the area here. He's a local businessman. He said he's worth over $100 million. I looked it up. He's worth about $20 million, at least from what I can find on the Internet. Um, and he talked about how charitable. He's told me how charitable he was. This came up in conversations based upon these things and how much charity he shows and, and how giving he is and uh, how he benefits his community. But this same man does not even give his employees health benefits. He doesn't really give them days off. He doesn't. So there's a lot of things he doesn't do for his own employees, but then he talks about how charitable he is. And I'm thinking that really doesn't correlate. So you may be giving to these different entities and you really may be generous to them, but you're not really a good employer if you're not taking care of your own employees, regardless of how much you help your community, help the people who work for you, right? So I challenge you, if you're an employer, make sure you're taking care of your, your people. Make sure you're being honest with them. I don't expect you to give them the farm. That I don't. I don't think that's right. I'm not a communist. I'm not a socialist. I don't believe that that's, I don't think that's good business sense. On the other hand, can you be a better blessing to them? That's up to you to decide. As an employee, let's flip the script for a minute. You and I that are employed by others, are we giving them an honest day's work? Are we giving our very best effort when we are at work? Are we a slacker? Or do we uh, goof off? Do we put in a full effort? Do we you know, go above and beyond what they're asking? And I know I failed in some of those areas, so I'm asking myself, what can I do to be a better employee and to give more to those who provide a living for me? So... Read the book of Ruth after you get done reading the book of Proverbs and study the relationships that are immersed in this book of Ruth and find some incredible, powerful testimonies of good and godly people having good and godly relationships. Be blessed.